are, truly. Oh, hi, I didn't see you come in. It's such a pleasure to have you. You're looking so handsome since I've last seen you. And, well, let's be honest, you're not really here. And, in fact, neither am I. This, my dear friends, is a quarantine cabaret. Which means, tonight, we are performing from our living room to yours. <laughs> I am Bailey Yarkey, your host this evening, and we are going to present to you Theatre Just Because's Quarantine Cabaret, a wonderful array of local artists who are here to share their medium with you. We have singers, songwriters, comedians, sketch artists, and all sorts of things in between for you to this evening. It's going to be a very exciting night, and honestly, I cannot wait to just jump in and get started. Let's jump into the first two performers, shall we? I would love that very much. First up we have Noise 13. Our first performer goes by Noise 13, a wordsmith, a poet, a singer, and a comedian. Noise all-around entertainer, performing for you tonight an original song. And after that we have the wonderful Jane Gibson, performing for you a wonderful rendition of Dear Evan Hansen's, you will be found. Two incredible performers to start out our evening, and I will see you very soon. <laughs> Cheers to you, and don't forget to get beverage and snack of your choosing. <laughs> it's on the house. Your house. <laughs> hey, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood noise 13 here. Thank you to theater just because we're having me a part of quarantine cabaret i'm gonna do a special pg version of one of my uh, older tunes you know it's about a year old doing it just for you guys noise 13 noise with a z check me out steady on my travels as my story still unravels and i marvel in the vastness of this world on my path it's amazing what the rain brings seeing all these strange things listen to the wind sing about what the day brings life as it seems is better in my dreams except in the case of exceptional things the beauties in my travels the bluest of waters lightning storms and the distance that part us well this is what i dream of mix that with some real love a beautiful song sonnet poem like which i'm dreaming of Mix that with summer sunshine and red wine That's where I'm going at the end of the line I keep trying steady climb just to clear my vision Seeing real beauty ain't no television Walking my own path, figurative and literal Just rapping for y'all, but it's painting a visual We can do some things at night Roll some things that might be tight We can go and have a drink Maybe do that if you think Free, I'm really free And his song is PG Free to be me I'm free, yes I'm free We can play after dark Maybe go and grab something to spark we can do a thing or two, do it just to go and be cool with you. Free, I'm really free. If you know the real song, this is hilarious. Free, I'm really free. Thanks for having me. Free, I'm really free. Just noise 13. Free, I'm really free. Born and raised before McMurray Boy. Always love to be a part of the community. I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Andrew Potty for having me in this space and recording. Uh, he's done multiple things for me. He really believes in me. He was one of the first people to call me when the evacuation happened. Thank you, Andrew. And thank you to everybody attached to the Arts Council, Keanu, everybody that supports the noise movement. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Jane Gibson. And I will be singing Dear Evan Hansen's You'll Be Found. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever 
you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Well, let that lonely feeling wash away. Fabulous? What an incredible first two acts, huh? Oh, in all the hubbub, I've had to introduce you to my co-host and colleague of the evening, Gaston, my uh, compatriot in this quarantine time. <laughs> Gaston, what did you think about our first two performances? <laughs> wow, thank you for the insight. He's gonna go do something else now. Well, it's just move right along, shall we? Have Evan Faduk. Evan Faduk is a grade nine student at Ecole, at Ecole McTavish. He is an avid musical theater fan and has participated in various youth performing arts productions in the community, including dance, theaters because productions, and Ecole McTavish productions. They, he is also involved with the Oil Sands Rotary Music Festival in piano, voice, and musical theater. Take us away! Hi everyone, my name is Evan Faduk, and I'm going to perform Just You Wait from the Broadway musical My Fair Lady. <laughs> Just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. You'll be sorry, but your tears'll be too light. You'll be broke and I'll have money. Will I help ya? Don't be funny. Oh ha ha, Henry Higgins, just you wait. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, till you're sick. And you scream to fetch a doctor double quick. I'll be off a second later and go straight to the theater. Ah ha ha, Henry Higgins, just you wait. Oh, Henry Higgins, just you wait until we're swimming in the sea. Oh, Henry Higgins, and you'll get a cramp a little way from me. When you yell, you're gonna drown. I'll get up and go to town. Ah oh, ha ha, Henry Higgins. Ah oh, ha ha, Henry Higgins. Just you wait. One day I'll be famous. I'll be proper and prim. Go to Saint James. So often I will call it Saint Jim. One evening the king will say, Eliza, old thing, I want all of England your prizes to sing. Next week on the 20th of May, I proclaim Liza Doolittle Day. 
All the people will celebrate the glory of you, and whatever you wish and want, I gladly will do. Thanks a lot, King, says I, in a manner well bred. But all I want is Henry Higgins Ed. Done, says the king with a stroke. Guards come and bring in the bloke. And they'll march you, Henry Higgins, to the wall. And the king will say, Eliza, sound the call. As they aim their rifles, I, uh, I'll shout, ready, aim, fire! Oh ho ho, Henry Higgins, down you'll go, Henry Higgins! Just you wait! Ha, now wasn't that just incredible? We have such a truly talented group of individuals in our community. Now, at this point the show, you may have had a, a couple of beverage, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to try out a little bit of, um... <laughs> Heckling, as they call it. Uh, let me let me try this out here. <laughs> Joshua, you've had one too many. <laughs> Deborah, are you in your pajama pants? And <gasps> Travis, you're not wearing pants at all. <laughs> My assumption is that very few of you are wearing pants at all. In fact, <laughs> I'll wait for your um your <laughs> heckling back now. That was a good one, Chad. I see you in the back there. <laughs> well, perhaps the online medium isn't the greatest um, choice for the um, audience back and forth, but we'll just move straight along, shall we? <laughs> Our next two performers are truly fabulous in every way. First up, we have Judy Levine. Judy Levine is a music teacher, writer, and artist who moved to McMurray from New Brunswick. She has enjoyed being involved with Keanu Theatre's productions of Mamma Mia and Lend Me a Tenor. She studied music at Mount Allison University and enjoyed teaching at the University of New Brunswick, uh, their conservatory for over a decade. She is the founding member of Phoenix Rising and director of Faded Jade. She also teaches music at Elsie Yannick School and YMM Dance Studio. Truly a long list of accolades there. And talking about accolades, our next performer is Isabella O'Sullivan, a senior student who loves all fine arts, especially musical theater. She has many accolades, such as a Buffy Award nominee, two tw top 20 under 20, and several awards for theater from the ADFA Festival, as well as for all sorts of ensemble and voice work. Now, let us move along into our performances and see what they have to offer, shall we? <laughs> I'll meet you back here later. Have a good performance few minutes. <laughs> Don't bring red roses to me for my crave. I'd batter bouquets thrown upon a lit stage. It seems only now a few seasons ago. I was the star of the silver screen shows. Everyone calling and shouting my name. Wanting to follow the pathway to fame. Now I'm a number line on the news. A possible victim for the piper to choose. I would prefer that my flowers be blue. Forget me not blossoms I ask of you. They'll grow in the shade and they'll grow in the dew. Don't pull the curtain till the day's through. It's not that I want to give up my place. All actors must know how to exit with grace. I play the parts of acts one and two, but this is my encore I sing now for you. You gaze upon beauty, but turn from my scars. You've put men on the moon and now talk of Mars, but too much to ask that you give me a thought. 
When I lingered with illness and nurses hard fought, I would prefer that my flowers be blue. Forget me not blossoms, I ask of you. They'll grow in the shade and they'll grow in the dew. Don't pull the curtain till the day is through. If men in their prime were struck from their power, I ask you now, would their lives matter? If it were teen, someone's child with bright dreams, would there be sighs or would there be screams? But we are the youth of last yesteryear. Some would say clearly that our time was near. We lived through wars and the talk of depression easily missed is now my impression i would prefer that my flowers be blue forget me not blossoms i ask of you they'll grow in the shade and they'll grow in the dew don't pull the curtain till the day is through what can you say of the land of the free what can you hear when your eyes will not see the reason we are forgotten and old should not be a secret but a truth loudly told it's death that scares you as you look in our eyes it's death that you know will write your last lies better you know that we'll all be claimed better you know that your costumes must change i would prefer that my flowers be blue Forget me not blossoms, I ask of you. They'll grow in the shade and they'll grow in the dew. Don't pull the curtain till the day is through. Time passes quick, it will ride on your face. The hardships and joys will all find their place. So look at me now and know that you can do what you should and hold tight my hand. Hi, my name is Isabella O'Sullivan and I will be singing I'd Rather Be Me from Mean Girls Broadway, but just a little part of it. So we'll just start right away. Okay. <laughs> Your best friend screwed you over, acted nice when she not nice. Well, I have some advice, cause it's happened to me twice. Here's my secret strategy, it always works because the world is an end. It just feels like it does, so raise your right finger and solemnly swear whatever they say about me. I won't twist and nuts to join your game I will say you make me mad And if you treat me bad, I'll say you're bad And if I eat alone from this moment on That's just what I'll do Cause I'd rather be me I'd rather be me I'd rather be me Than be with you we're supposed to all be ladies and be nurturing and care. Is that really fair? Boys get to fight, we have to share. Cause the way that turns out, we always understand how to slap someone down with our underhand. So here's my right finger to how girls should behave. Cause sometimes what's meant to break you makes you break. So I will not act all innocent, I won't fake apologize Let's just fight and then make up, not tell these lies Let's call our damage even, clean the slate till it's new Cause it's new life for me, or I'd rather be me I'd rather be me than be with you And that is it! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, see ya! Now, Gaston here is... <laughs> Um, very excitable, and in fact, we were supposed to match outfits, and well, not only is he not very good at taking measurements, but turns out cat tailors are not considered an essential service, so you're just stuck with me for now, and Gaston will return shortly. He has other matters to deal with, unfortunately, so we'll just put you right along, shall we? Ha ha. Ha.
Next up, we have uh, a little bit of a turn of something new and something different. We have Cindy Rivers. She has performed and headlined all over Western Canada. She was selected for the top 100 for the CBC Next Up National Comedy Competition, a finalist in the Grindstone Comedy Competition, and has performed in shows in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Cindy, Cindy has opened for Hannah Gadsby and has performed at Just for Laughs Northwest, She's slightly awkward and quirky, but <laughs> still funny. And after that, we have the wonderful talents of Anna Hilton. Anna Hilton has been singing ever since she was a child and loves to push herself to learn new songs. Other than singing, she plays a multitude of instruments, including trumpet, piano, guitar, and ukulele. I hope you enjoy Secret Love. <laughs> now, these two performances are truly wonderful so you go and get your blankie and cuddle in for these next few performances and i will see you in a little bit <laughs> hey everybody uh i am cindy rivers and welcome to the quarantine cabaret thanks theater just because you are seeing my video live from inside my jeep because that's where i like to do a lot of really cool stuff and this is a really cool stuff so that's where i am uh, I'd like to start off by saying, guys, sometimes people look at me funny. They do. And I, I don't know how they can always tell so fast, you know? But I'm a comedian. It's weird. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I, am, I am a transgender comedian. I am a transgender comedian. That actually, um, that actually gives you quite a bit of information. It tells you a bit about me, right? So right off the bat, it tells you a couple of things. Uh, I was bad at being a boy. And I am also bad at real jobs. <laughs> so that's what it means. That's, that's how that happens. Uh, if you don't know what trans is, I can give you a quick rundown. And my situation means I was born male, I identify as female, okay? Pretty simple, all right? Fun stuff. Uh, I'm also originally from Newfoundland. Yay, right? Uh, but don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Because I identify as an Albertan now, so it's okay. You know, if you don't know what I mean by identify as an Albertan, guys, basically it means I was born in Newfoundland, and now I have money. Uh, so when I first came out as trans, I told my mom, she's like, oh no, he's gonna ruin his life, his life is over. I'm like, mom, mom, it's not like that anymore, okay? She's gonna ruin her life. That's, it's, that's how it goes, it's very important. So pre-transition before I came out stuff, guys, um, before I came out, I used to hate stuff like house cleaning, laundry, dishes, stuff like that, right? And now I still do because that's not how this works at all. <laughs> oh my, I do laugh at myself. I do apologize. Um, oh, do you guys hate it? I know. You almost hate it. Do you ever like fall in the toilet in the middle of the night because you're the one that left the seat up? This, no, just me, just, 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 me. just a me problem. Got it. All right, that's cool. But you know what I know? You know what I you do? Blah, 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 blah. You know what I realized since I transitioned, guys, women, you'll get this right away. What in the heck is up with the lack of pockets in clothing? Put fake pockets, put half pockets, but they don't put full size pockets in anything. I mean, I get excited when I have dress pockets. I mean, I mean, I think all women do, but like. I've worn so many pairs of women's jeans with no pockets that if I had a dollar for every pair, I'd have nowhere to put all that money. <laughs> oh, I'm a little lame, but whatever. Dating's tough. Dating's tough from everybody. Fair? So you can imagine, right? I actually went to a ladies' night because I like women, gender, sexuality, beautiful things. Education, go team. Uh, I went to a ladies night to meet a woman and uh, they were charging $5 for women and 10 for men and charged me 15, so. I paid, it was confusing, okay? But I did see this girl inside, I wanted to talk to her. So I went up to talk to her and she's like, whoa, you're not my type, you know, my type only like boys, bad boys actually. And I was like, well, I was so bad at being a boy. <laughs> that, that, that didn't work out. There was a guy though, he did try to compliment me. 
yeah, he, a guy tried to compliment me. He said, hey, you know what? You remind me of Wonder Woman. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, not really a compliment. I don't want people wondering. Is there a definite woman I can remind you of instead, maybe? You know, besides, if I was a superhero, I don't even think I'd be that kind of superhero, you know? I think I'd probably be maybe, maybe more like an X-Man. Or possibly a transformer. <laughs> isolation. Can we talk about isolation for a minute? I wasn't going to, but we have to, right? Talk, not talking about isolation is like not talking about the elephant in the room. In which case, it's me. <laughs> but we have to talk about isolation, right? It's crazy. Isolation. You know what's craziest for me? I came out at 30 years old. So that's just like four years ago, okay? Uh... I was like, that's it, I'm coming out, I'm never going back in, and then 2020 came away. Hold up. Thanks for coming out and all. Now get back in. <laughs> so it's just like, why? Why did I come out if you were just gonna Alright, fine. I'll laugh at that joke. That's okay. If you laughed, that's okay too. <laughs> but I laughed, so that's what's really important, okay? Um, so, but like before this whole situation happened, I thought, I, come on, I thought isolation was the process of water freezing. <laughs> isolation? No, not. Turns out what it actually means is die of boredom. <laughs> see what I did there? Did that. That was me. I did that. Uh, I see a lot of people getting active during isolation, picking up really cool hobbies and doing some stuff, you know, like writing memoirs and stuff and even. Well, I discovered my quarantine slash isolation hobby is eating. You know why? Because I'm a positive person. You know? We're gonna get through this. I'm being positive, silver lining. Sometimes you just gotta eat the food and look on the plus size, you know? <laughs> yeah, I said it, plus size. I did also wanna learn how to play a little guitar. Uh, it didn't take too long, but I did. I did learn how to play a little guitar. It was a uh, ukulele. <laughs> I did it again. I did it again. But no, it, it feels like I've been isolated so long now that I'm going sane. You know what I mean? It's like, this is driving me sane. That's messed up for me. And I'm like a terrible isolation partner. I know that. Because, like, the voices in my head won't even talk to me anymore. <laughs> starting, to, starting to get lonely, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry guys. I'm a little silly sometimes. Sometimes people come up to me after shows and they go, you know, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you get on stage and tell jokes to people. That must be so hard. I can never do that. And I'm usually like, yeah, jokes is the hardest thing I've ever told anybody. <laughs> uh, what is cool though is I'm starting to get recognized now, which is pretty cool. Like the other day I walk in, right? And someone's like, hey, aren't you, uh, did I see you? Are you? And I'm like, yeah, mom, I've been transitioning for years. Get over it. <laughs> parents, parents are fun, right? Oh, parents are fun. Like, I used to think I was adopted when I was younger. One day I got up in there to ask my dad, I said, dad, was I adopted? And he's like, no. Why would we have picked you? That's fair, dad. That's fair. So, I do have two kids myself. Know what that makes me? Transparent. Bah. Words are fun, right? I do. But uh, when I came out, we were trying to figure out what to call me because daddy was too masculine. So we looked up some ideas on the internet. We saw like, uh, mommy and daddy's maddie or daddy and father's little, mommy and daddy's maddie or uh, mommy and uh, father's fami or something like that, right? So I told my kids and she's like, okay, daddy and father's daughter, your daughter. I'm like, mm, that's not really gonna work, I'm gonna try again. So she comes back a few minutes later and goes, I got it. Daddy and mummy is dummy. You're a dummy. <laughs> yep, I definitely, definitely am. Should not have left this in the hands of a child. So I did recently have to get a part-time job too, you know, because this comedy thing's going so well. Um, but because I was new, I had to wear a name tag, uh, but I was new, right? So my name tag said trainee. Trainee. That's mighty close to another word to describe me, isn't it? Who helped you today, sir? Oh, it was the train and the train. The tra uh, nobody. Nobody helped me today. Mm -mm. 
tell you where I wouldn't want to work though. Wouldn't want to work in a post office. Postal office, not a place for me. Nope, nope, nope. You know how much more confusing be uh, how much more confusing it would be telling people I'm a male woman. Besides, I don't even think they'd hire me. I did spend a lot of years performing male fraud. <laughs> heck of a couple of years. Heck of a year for everybody, but heck of a couple of years. At least I'm not pregnant, right? That's good. I, I know I kind of look like it. I do have to lose some weight. I know I have to lose some weight, guys. I know that. Uh, I had my moment, my like, haha -ha moment when something snaps. And you know you need to make that change, guys. It happened. It happened to me. I went to a restaurant, sat down, waiter comes over, and he goes, just so you guys know, this restaurant has zero trans fats. And I was like, is he asking me to leave? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, on Sandy Rivers. Hi, my name is Anna Hilton. I will be singing Secret Love by Calamity Jane, a Broadway musical. I was going to sing the song during the music festival this year. However, it was postponed due to COVID-19. So I'll sing it for you today, instead. Once I had a secret love That lived within the heart of me All too soon my secret love Became impatient to be free So I told a friendly star The way that dreamers often do Just how wonderful you are And why I'm so in love with you Welcome again. I was just warming myself over by the fire over there and listening to my royalty-free jazz music. You know, living alone in a quarantine is not so bad. I have my fireplace, I have some wonderful music, I have a beverage of sorts here, and goodness gracious, I've just had the most delightful evening here with you, all of you, and I hope you've enjoyed your time as well. We are on our last three performers of the night, and I am so happy to show them to you now. Let's jump into it, shall we? First up, we have Colin Humphrey, a native-born Fort McMurrayite, and is very excited to be performing for you. He has completed the Musical Theatre Diploma Program at Capilano University, and has done many shows there, including 42nd Street and The Drowsy Chaperone. He will be performing Moving Too Fast from the last five years. He hopes you Enjoy and stay safe during this time. And after that, we have Samson Nand, a local musician in Fort McMurray, and tonight we'll be doing an acoustic version of a song he wrote called Marty T. Truly incredible. And after that, closing our show out for the evening, we have Jenny Price. Jenny Price is a local teacher and artist. She has been Spinning out her passion for singing and theater in the region since childhood. <laughs> Jenny wishes to express her gratitude to theater just because, oh, that's us, <laughs> for the richness they have added to arts and culture in the community. Well, <laughs> Jenny Price, you shouldn't have, but thank you anyways. Now, let's get into these last performances of the night and I will see you to close out the evening in celebration. Did I just hear an alarm start a ringing? Did I see sirens go flying past? Though I don't know what tomorrow's bringing, I got a singular impression things are moving too fast. I'm gliding smooth as a figure skater. 
I'm riding hot as a rocket blast. I just expected 10 years later, I got a singular impression. Things are moving too fast. And you say, oh no, step on the brakes, do whatever it takes, but stop this train. Slow, slow, the lights turn in red. But I say, no, no, whatever I do, I barrel on through and I don't complain. No matter what I try, I'm flying full speed ahead. I'm never worried to walk the wire. I won't do anything just half fast. But with the stakes getting somewhat higher, I got a singular impression. Things are moving too fast. I found a woman I love. And I found an agent who loves me. Things might get bumpy, but some people analyze every detail. Some people stall when they can't see the trail. Some people freeze out of fear that they'll fail, but I keep rolling on. Some people can't get success with their art. Some people never feel love in their heart. Some people can't tell the two things apart, but I keep rolling on. No, oh, maybe I can't follow through, but oh, 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 what else am I supposed to do? I dreamed of riding like the high and mighty, now I'm the subject of a bidding war. I met my personal Aphrodite. I'm doing things I never dreamed of before. We start to take the next step together. Found an apartment on 73rd. The Atlantic Monthly's printing my first chapter. 2,000 bucks without rewriting one word. I left Columbia and I don't regret it. I wrote a book and Sonny made a Reddit. My heart's been stolen, my ego swollen. I just keep rolling along. And I think. Well, well, what else is in store? Got all this and more before 24. It's hard not to be sure. I'm spinning out of control. Out of control. I'm feeling panicked and rushed and hurried. I'm feeling outmaneuvered and outclassed. But I'm so happy I can't get worried about this singular impression. I got a singular impression, things are moving too fast. Too late to say the things that would have changed the pace. Too late to make that awkward tone dissipate. Lay around with open blinds, constant waves to show no sign.
for long, the fall, then never to singing Being Alive from the Stephen Sondheim Musical Company. Someone to hold you too close. Someone to hurt you too deep. Someone to sit in your chair and ruin your sleep and make you of me. Give me support for 
folks. Our evening of entertainment is all wrapped up and, well, Gaston is just clawing to uh, get to the rest of the evening, obviously. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that this is not the first take I've done of this clip. <laughs> well, you know. But thank you so much for joining us this evening. We've, I've had a true and wonderful blast with you all, and I hope you enjoyed and had a delightful time as well. It is a rather lonely time, this quarantine, and I hope that we brought you a little bit of joy and art and comfort to this time. It has been a most lovely, wonderful evening. A incredibly large thank you to all of our performers this evening and the wonderful theater just because staff who made this event possible. And Thank you to you for tuning in and watching. It wouldn't have happened without you watching. <laughs> I see you there, all supportive of the arts and such. Well, that's all we have for you this evening, and I truly hope that you had fun. And to bid you adieu from my living room to yours, I say, have a good night, stay safe, love each other, and for goodness sake, wash those filthy hands. <laughs> This is Bailey Aki, your host, signing off for the evening, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your pandemic experience. Well, as best as we can. But art is alive and thriving, and we're just so darn happy to share it with you. We'll see you all very soon, don't worry, and we love you all. Have a wonderful night.